Hi, creepies. I'm so glad to see you back here. I am. I was getting quite lonely in this crypt by myself and these stiffs hanging around. But I'm glad you're back. And today we have an unboxing of Hunt a Killer. Yeah, you heard that right. I am showing you what is in my box. It's so much fun. We will be doing Hunt a Killer every Tuesday on my stream over on mixer.com forward slash me animator where we become detectives and solve crimes. So let's get into it. So when I opened up the box, I received two bloody hand printed box labeled one and then labeled two. I think these boxes are really cool. I mean, look at it. Bloody handprints. Who wouldn't love a bloody handprint showing up on their porch box like this, right? So, um, each of these are on episode. So we've got like a uh, episode one, episode two. Now, inside these boxes are very nice and neat. So this is exactly how it arrived. I'm trying to show you here exactly how this arrived. Um, it had a cute enamel pin and it has a uh, a little bookmark telling you what is in here so it says that there's a pi letter a julia letter a forensic report attic inventory program ruth note hector letter rehearsal notes a flank and a cadence theater notebook also on the back of this is a hints section with a Q code that you can either scan in or you can go to their website and actually put this code in that's on the back of here and it'll help give you hints to your current investigation. Uh, we also get a Cadence Theater book, this nice little thing, quality made, quality made, uh, where it goes through, are you interested in learning about the theater but don't know where to begin? And then it goes in through some things, you know, different stuff. Um, learn stage terminology with their uh, glossary. And then it gives you notes that you could actually, notepad that you can actually write in, right? So you can get and add all of your evidence that you can see all in this little book, little handy dandy notebook, right? Uh, you also receive a start here, little flyer, right? So this is exactly where you would start once you open up your package from Hunt to Killer. And you will go through it and you would read. It tells you, welcome detective, there's a welcome, there's your first steps, uh, how to play, and if you need a helping hand, digital evidence, there's resources, uh, there's a community, there's the premium experiences, an entire storyline in a box. Uh, they've got merch, they've got all sorts of uh, cool things going on in here let me just show you they got like digital evidence right so you can go in and take a look also inside is uh, a little card and it lets you know your goal in this episode identify the murder weapon when we have figured out what the murder weapon is we would contact this email with the words curtain in the subject line and we would tell them the information of what we found so this episode is to help find the murder weapon now once you're going through all of your stuff for the investigation your dossier everything like that you get this cute envelope i like it it's very elegant and classy looking and you would open it up because it's sealed so you would open it up and inside ooh, inside there's lots of stuff Remember the little slip of paper that gave us a quick rundown of what we are expected to see in this and everything is right here. So we've got official documents, comes into this little handy, uh, looks very official, like there is no um, slacking in the official area. Uh, so we get this envelope in here, it's official documents. Once we take the official documents out, it's photocopy of the preliminary and forensic reports which are filled out in grave detail and very, very realistic. You've got the forensic report, right? Uh, we have the clothing, the findings, the conditions of the remains, 
Uh, it's dated as well. We've got images of what the body looked like, which I thought was really cool. Um, what else do we have here? You've got everything. Uh, sex, age, ancestry, stature, uh, dentation. Uh, then on the second piece is the Midtown South Precinct. This is the, the police department uh, ongoing investigation that goes through some information. You know, some of the evidence that they found. Right? Very official and has a signature, which I thought was super cool. And nothing makes it better than being realistic, right? You can go and play a video game. It's not realistic. You can still get involved with it. I love my video games. But this you can really dive into and it, it's official. It feels real because it, it, it is, right? And the murder mystery that we will be figuring out is the Cadence Theater proudly presents the strange duo. So here is the uh, little brochure from the theater. Inside, it has the cast and crew. It has uh, director's notes in it. Uh, there is the cast that's inside of this. And it's not printed on cheap paper. It's printed on quality paper. Uh, they have a synopsis. Right? And some ads on the back. You also receive a letter, like they stated. This here is a to-do list of what was going on for home rehearsal notes. Uh, same thing here, adjust lighting, just different notes that were written down by people. And then you also receive a couple of letters. Mm -hmm. The first one is, uh, it is Gray Investigations, so this is the first guy here. It goes into, hi investigator, I have a case for you. I'm handing a lot of cases on my own right now, but don't worry. I'm confident you can do this by yourself. It goes through a whole thing on why you're getting the case, why you're receiving the case. It goes through some more information uh, about Julia and how she runs the Cadence in New York. And then Julia also sends you a letter as well, uh, going through uh, why she's bringing you on, why she needs your help, and it goes through some great deal of information. Now, our job is to receive this, go through everything, make sure that we see all the stuff and evidence that we need. We even have the, um, we even have the little uh, cufflink. Oh my God, I couldn't remember what it was. The cufflink and your books and all of your information that you have going on, you're gonna go through this and you're gonna try to piece together what could be the possible murder weapon, all right? Now, uh, if you are part of the Horde, which is my community over on Mixer, uh, we will be doing this every Tuesday. In my Discord, we have a channel that is dedicated to the investigation and the evidence that we have found so we can work together as a team. Uh, we would like to finish this, the first episode, on Tuesday and get our answers in right away. Now, the next episode is already here, so we can just start on that next Tuesday. Uh, if you are interested in Hunt a Killer, uh, I, in my description down below, I have all the information on how you can obtain one of these Hunt a Killer investigations for yourself. Uh, everything down below, the next time I'm going live on Mixer with Hunt a Killer, uh, what you can do, all of that great information will be down below. If you enjoyed this video and the content that I create, make sure you slash that subscribe button, stab that like button, please leave us a comment down below and guess what? tell your friends about us because we love fresh brains here. I mean, we love fresh views here in the crypt. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have yourself a flashing good time and I'll flash you later. Bye bye.